Good morning. Welcome back to Haywire Homestead. This morning, trying to get the animals fed so we can go and pick up our new buck. Super excited about it. And I'll just take you really quick into the barn and show you all the things we did to get ready. We did a little bit of spring cleaning too. First, the spring cleaning. This area was full of junk. There's less junk. And this stall was full of wood. You couldn't even walk in it. So it is pretty well cleaned out. We've got all the cages organized over there. Um, my husband built new lumber racks in the other stall. And then we're going to organize most of this stuff in there as well. That way, this whole area will be cleaned out. And then where all the noise is coming from, we um, fixed the door so it's actually able to be open and closed properly. And then... We had a half wall in here. Well, the half wall has been taken down. And the baby uh, set up the heater, made a hay feeder, a bucket hanger and everything. So Miss Honey, her little boy who is doing wonderfully. And he is now officially, his deposit came in, so he is sold. So he will leave when he's weaned. And then the two girls, there's Matilda and then the little bottle baby doling who uh, is also sold. So we've got that going on. Good morning, Holly. Holly, like I said before, is going to be leaving and going to my mom's. Now this is where Honey and the girls were. Um, this is where the buck is going to be for right now until after Holly leaves and we get the drainage project done. Then he'll go out where Holly is. So my husband put a hay feeder over here. That way the kids can feed over the wall. He put a feeder right by the door. And then the bucket will go right there uh, for him. So if the kids do need to feed, they can feed from outside um, the stall. I, I mean, he's not a mean buck by any means um, per the owners. Uh, they actually lead him by his beard when they move him from paddock to paddock. So it can't be that horrible. But at the end of the day, you know, it's probably like a 200-pound buck uh, that we do not want the kids to be messing with. Um, you know, but, uh, I've got Alex and Blake, my, uh, my two of the boys are going to be cleaning, finish cleaning this, uh, today from when the girls were in there. And somebody forgot to lock chickens up last night. So all my chickens are running around the yard. Good morning, chickens. All right. I got to get to feeding so we can get on the road. All right. We're back with Mr. Stinky. As he is okay. We really got to come up for a name with this. Guy. I know we got to come up with a name. Back up. Move. No, let me get him out. Hi, Bubba. Big man. Come here. Come here. So there's our new buck. All right. Come on, big man. Come here. Come here. Hey, big dude. Come on. Oh, he's a big boy. Mm-hmm. Come on. And Come he's on. actually oh, only... We're not playing this game. Come here. And, he, and he's only two, right, Mom? He's only two. So, yeah, not, he's not too old. Obviously, he doesn't leave that well, but they said if you get a hold of his bear, he'll listen. So, there he is. And I'm using gloves because he's still kind of stinky. But he did really well for the people we bought him from, having babies. There you go. Now you can see him. This is the new buck. He is de-spudded, but he's only yeah, 10 years sucks. old. So we'll see how he does. All right, come on, Stinky. Let's go put you in your stall for now. Come on. Yeah, come on. I'll get it in a second. Good boy. Come on. Come on, Mr. Stinky. Come on. Come on. All right, good. You can go ahead and shut it off. Isn't he handsome? He's not really sure what's going on yet. All right, big man. <laughs> 